Welcome to the Windows Club. If you encounter a blue screen on your computer and your computer immediately shuts down and you get the error, your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart with or without a stop code, then either read through this article on the Windows Club or simply watch this video. Now blue screen errors can have a lot of reasons so this is why the stop code is important but the first approach should be to disable the auto pc restart option so that when you try to fix the problem the computer doesn't go into this blue screen mode and restart again so the procedure to do so is as follows click on the start button click on settings go to system scroll down to the about tab Click on advanced system settings in the right pane. Then go to startup and recovery under the advanced tab and click on settings. Now make sure that the button associated with automatically restart is unchecked. This checkbox should be unchecked and in case of system failure. Then click on OK and then apply an OK once again. And now your computer won't restart. Next, you can note down the error code which is the stop code. This will help you recognize what kind of a blue screen error it is and once you know that, you can identify the issue by checking through this guide which has been created here. So go to this article, open the guide mentioned in the fourth method and it explains all stop errors and blue screen of death errors in a sequence now other than this you can consider updating the drivers while to update a single driver you can go to the device manager but if you have to update all the drivers at once then either update your computer the windows 10 system itself or go to the intel driver update utility and use it to update all the drivers at once it has been explained over a different article and possibly a different video. Then, one of the most common causes of blue screen of death errors is missing and corrupt system files. So you can perform an SFC scan to replace those missing and corrupt files. Search for command prompt in the Windows search bar and click on run as administrator to open the elevated command prompt window. In the elevated command prompt window, type the command sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter to initiate the system file checker scan. This will replace the files when you restart the computer. A few users have also inquired that in some situations they do not get the stop code. So, by default, you should be getting the stop code upon blue screen errors, but if you are not getting the stop code, there might be a change in policy in the computer and this has been explained over a separate article on the Windows Club, also mentioned in point number 3 on this article. If you still have any doubts, please go to the original article on the Windows Club, scroll down to the comment section and write your query, we will surely answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.